So you know what? Let's let's install the skylight right now. There's no need to wait. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how this is going to work. It's interesting. It's an interesting concept, actually. We're going to go all the way back up to the top of the uh, of the staircase and find where the sun shines in. So okay, here. So I'm going to want to put a skylight in. Let's see. We c I don't want to do it on this corner because this corner is a part of the exit, and I don't want this to be made of glass. But this part. We could very well say goodbye to. And you see, I'm going to dig through both layers of this, and then I'm going to drop down to here. There we go. Now let's get our glass out so I can use it. Slot six. And I'm going to put the glass right here. So now you can see we can see down to the next level. And if I dig straight up from here, I'm going to install a stylite up there. Oops! Don't throw your shovel down. Pick that up. No going on strike for you. Alright, so I'm going to break the rules and dig straight up, because I know there's nothing up there besides dirt. Because I've already been up there and looked. So, there we go. I believe I can do this without ever having to climb out of my little hole. So, yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll install a nice little skylight. And we're going to dig through every layer of this staircase, all the way back down to our home. And it will provide natural light to us when we dig way down into the ground. It actually go all the way down through there. You'd be quite surprised. I think I'm going to cut down these trees, though, because they're... They're in our way in terms of uh, getting light into this place, and so I'm just going to get my underused axe out. And I guess it's probably good to go ahead and collect some wood, too, because we'll, need to we'll be needing to make quite a number of tools to dig the mine shaft that I have in store, which I believe should be our next task. It should be digging a mine shaft, and if not finding the best minerals, at the very least finding some iron ore, because iron ore is uh, going to be used to make steel. We can smelt it in our furnace, and... Uh, once we've done that, we can make steel armor, we can make steel tools, steel weapons. I mean, our general capabilities increase, and we'll need steel tools in order to harvest or collect, whatever you want to say, the best uh, minerals that are going to be way down underground. I'm not going to go searching for the hardest and the best minerals and the most expensive minerals just yet, because quite frankly our odds of finding them at this point are kind of low with only stone tools. I'm just going to make my goal right now to be to find some iron down there. You may notice some of these leaves are disappearing on their own. The leaves have like an algorithm where if they're like t touching a certain number of other leaves or if they're touching wood or something like that, then they don't die. But if they're floating in air like this, they'll disappear on their own if you just give it time. So I'm going to leave that. And let's go ahead and finish installing our, our uh, skylight. I'm going to go ahead and do this just off camera because it's going to get kind of repetitive. I'm gonna just going to bust through all four of these where the light is. I'll dig through the second, uh, the next floor as well, which is going to be two blocks here. And then I'll put the glass in, and we'll just continue from there. And I'll see you guys when we get to the bottom. Be careful when placing glass, because if you place it in the wrong place, you, can, uh, you can't pick it back up. Because when you break glass with any tool or your hand, it shatters. Rather than dropping something you can pick up, it just disappears. So... Make sure you carefully place each block, because if you put it in the wrong place, there's no getting it back. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're there. That's the bottom of the staircase. Look at that. You can see through each layer. And it actually brings down quite a bit of natural light down into our staircase. And we may actually not require torches anymore on these... Uh, well, let's see. The pattern gets a little funky here, so let's look and see where the torches actually are. Yeah, we see we don't need this torch. He's not really doing much. We can actually, I think I might just go through and remove all the torches and just only and replace the torches in the corner opposite the skylight. That's going to be the most efficient way to do this, and we can get some of our torches back. Oh, something I didn't uh, think about is that we need to have a door up here, or at least something to like stop enemies from just walking right in. I mean, if we don't need to actually use this right now, but we do need to make sure that enemies aren't going to, you know, sneak up on us on our own base. So I'm actually going to partially close this off. At least enough that enemies won't be able to walk in on us here. So we'll just do that for now, and we'll eventually come back up here and put in an actual door there. We'll fix it up nice. So you can see as the light diminishes outside, the amount of light coming through our skylight diminishes as well. And so we will need a... Uh, it's going to actually get pretty dark on this part of the stairway at night. But there's a torch above and below each instance of the skylight, so no big deal. 
Alright, now our mine shaft is going to be determined by where our skylight is. And our skylight just happens to be right above this main area here, and so I'm going to want to work my way down underneath this, and then we'll begin our mine shaft. So I'm going to do one instance of the staircase uh, going down from here. Okay, so now we should be directly under our skylight. Yes, we are. Okay, good. So I just looped my way. I did one, I did one more circle. And now we're going to... Oh, I need half steps, don't I? I forgot, to, forgot to put those in as I was going along. So let's drop those down. Ba-donk-a-donk. ba donk, -a -donk. Ba -donk -a Very nice. Now we'll replace this uh, empty space here with glass. And our skylight will be directly above our eventual mine shaft, which I am going to start constructing right here. And uh, basically it's just going to go straight down from there. And I'm going to look uh, and show you guys how to make something that we're going to require. And it's good that we have lots of wood, because we're going to need uh, quite a bit of wood in order to build the next item I'm going to show you guys how to make, which is a ladder. Now the way a ladder works is you need to basically make an H shape with wood. And not too complicated to figure out. So there, wait a minute. Oh, dude, what am I doing? It's with uh, sticks, not with planks. So let's just stack these up and make some sticks. Lots of sticks! Which is good because each uh, block of wood that you pick up, like from a tree, uh, like an actual block, gives you enough wood to make a ladder. One ladder for each block you pick up. And so that can help you figure out how much you need to collect. It's just based on how many ladders you make. You need to make. So there you go. That's all there is to it. And this will make me 16 ladders, which is not so bad. Boom. Well, I'm going to set these down here, actually. And then what else do I need to make? I can make a couple more tools while we're here. So let's go ahead and make a couple more picks, because we're basically just going to need lots of picking to make this mine shaft. The Gemeinschaft. It's actually a uh, German word, Gemeinschaft. Although I'm not sure what it means, to be perfectly honest with you. I'll make another shovel, too, since I just happened to make one. There we go. So let's go ahead and dump our extra resources in here, and then we can get started digging our mine shaft. And you see that our stone supply is steadily increasing. I'm looking forward to building that uh, secret project as soon as I'm done with uh, collecting the stone that I'll need to make the project. Alright, so where we're going, we're not going to need hoes or axes, so I'm going to leave those here. I'm not going to need the sapling, I don't know why I'm even carrying that. Put that there. We need lots of picks, a couple shovels, and I've got a couple uh, instances of the materials that we might run into on the way down there. It would be these three. Probably not sand, though. And so I'm just going to stick the sand in there. And uh, I got some food, because we run into any baddies, and I got more supplies to make more torches if I need to. And that's about it. So basically now we're just going to dig straight down. Now, never directly underneath our feet straight down. I just mean uh, vertically, you know? So I'll stand here, and I'll dig down twice, and then I'll drop in the hole, boop, and I'll dig the two slots in front of me away. Now, the question is, how do I get out of this hole that I'm going to be digging myself into? Well, the answer is the ladders. Ba-dunk. You put a ladder on every other square, and you can climb right out. Easy as that. So we're just going to continue here, and I'm going to be occasionally placing torches. Maybe every four or five blocks. You don't need the torches that often. So don't forget to put your ladders on here, because if you get behind on your ladders, you'll end up too low to reach where you need to put your ladders. And you'll have to try to build a ladder while climbing on it, and that's a huge pain in the ass, let me tell you. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see, where do I want these torches to start? One, two, three, there. Okay, so they'll alternate from where the ladders are. I need a new pick. And we're going to proceed like this until I find something that I think is interesting enough that you guys would want to see. It. <laughs> yeah. I say this might be a little bit too small of a mine shaft. Just two is going to be a little bit much, I think. But maybe we should do four. Yeah, let's do four. Because I need to collect a lot of stone anyway. So yeah, from now on I'm going to be digging a, a two by two square. That should be large enough that we run into any cave system that we happen to go past underground, but also small enough that it doesn't take ages to do. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming up outside. 
Yeah, you can see the amount of light in the shaft is slowly increasing. And you can see all we're looking up all the way through what we've dug and all the way through what we dug upwards from there as well. And so our uh, the mine shaft is starting to get pretty tall if you add in the amount that's above the ground up there going through the uh, actual surface bits. So yeah, nice and bright in here now. Look at this. It's as bright as day. And we're like probably more than 100 feet underground by now. You can see how far we'd, we've come just from looking back up. And all that light just spills all the way right down here. It's very nice. If we ever decide to make a room or something all the way down here, which I don't know why you would. Hey, there's coal. Awesome. I'm taking that as my cue that this is where the mine shaft stops for now. And I don't mean this is where we're going to quit mining for right now. I mean that this is as far as we're going to go right now, because I think that this is going to indicate a, uh, a fertile vein. And so we're going to dig away uh, from our mine shaft horizontally at this depth, and hopefully run into some sort of cave system or patches of iron, which is that's our goal right now, is to find some iron. And yeah, it looks pretty fertile, because this is a really big patch of coal right here. I only brought five pieces of coal with me, so we'll see how much this is after I pick it all up. It's quite a bit, actually. I'm surprised. You don't usually find hunks of it this large. Wow, and it just keeps going. Holy moly. Yeah, we're definitely going to expand on uh, this find. Oh, I keep, I keep looking away too soon and not finishing digging through whatever block it is I'm on. There we go. Oh, I'm using up a whole pick on that. Okay, there. Let's see. Yeah, that was a full 24 pieces of coal right there. And I'm just going to continue digging in a 2x2 two two square through here until we uh, run into something else that's interesting. Hopefully it won't be too long. It's, I want, it's really, there's no real point in me trying to figure out which direction I'm going above ground, because to be quite frank, there's nothing really for me to run into above ground. If I were digging out of the side of a mountain, I might try to aim so that I could pop out of the side of the mountain somewhere. Maybe somewhere useful or interesting. But right now, uh, there's nothing really to worry about. Things to worry about might include if I were digging uh, on like an island world, or a world with lots of water, like you're near the ocean when you spawn. If you dig a mine and you don't go deep enough, digging to the side could be dangerous because you might dig right into the ocean and then flood your mine. Which could be a pain. It wouldn't kill you, and if you were quick enough on your trigger finger, you actually could stick a block in back where you just mine through and plug up the hole, which isn't that hard to do, honestly. I've done it before with both water and some other uh, substances that you'll run into underground. No spoilers yet. I am trying to keep the suspense as much as I can in terms of uh, what there is to actually find down here. I believe I may have mentioned once or twice what the best mineral we're looking for down here is, but, you know, we're looking for iron at this point because we haven't found any yet, and no ore or nothing. There we go. And I would love to make a bucket, because I require buckets for one of my projects. Actually, for a few of my projects. Hey, look, more coal. It's looking good. Maybe we should turn and go after this coal here. I'm definitely going to dig through and find it all. Ah! I'm out of picks, and still no iron yet. We've dug all this distance to the side here, and we've dug quite a distance downwards. We found two good veins of coal on this little uh, offshoot, but no iron yet. And I do think that we're deep enough to find iron. You can find iron surprisingly close to the surface. And, uh... Alright, so let's go ahead and climb back up here. It's still daytime outside, although the sun may, may be on its way down at this point. So we've got a mine shaft underneath our house now. Look at that. Way down there. Alright, so let's drop all this crap that we picked up in this chest here. Alright, I think it's time for us to make another chest, as we're running out of storage space here. I'm going to make another chest, another pair of chests, actually. Okay, so with the organizational system that I've come up with, we now have a chest that has all our junk blocks in it, and a chest that has basically everything else, uh, including our extra weapons and stuff. So, uh, let's see, what do I need to do now? I need to make some more... Uh, tools, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I've now made a couple picks and some more shovels and such, and we're going to continue mining and digging through this shaft, and I'm going to cut back to, uh, if I ever find anything interesting down there, I'll cut back to it as soon as I uh, pop up down there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, wouldn't you know it that as soon as I turn off the recording, I uh, run right into some iron ore. How about that? 
It's just like when you go into a restaurant and you're taking forever for your food to get to the table. You get up and go to the bathroom, by the time you come back, your food will be on the table. It's just how it happens, man. So, two pieces of iron? Really? Is that it? I can't make anything with two pieces of iron. No, there's no way. That's all of it. That's here. That's preposterous. Yeah, look at this dirt. Dirt hides things. We're going to dig away this dirt and discover what lies beneath. What lies beneath, I should say. Let's see. Drop it in. Drop and trow!